Hey guys, it's TapTap. I uh, thought I would do sort of like an ethics statement. There's a... So basically Machinima sent out an email to Machinima Partners, and apparently Microsoft is basically paying them $3 extra per thousand views for uh, mentioning the Xbox One in either a neutral or positive way, and not disclosing the fact that they are being paid. That's part of the agreement. Um, so... It's basically shilling and not, you know, saying you're shilling, which is the main problem with it. Um, that's really shitty. Um, and apparently this is, you know, more common than a lot of people would think. There's, um, there's some articles on the issue and there's a Neo Gaff thread where, um, what is his name? Uh, Boogie and some numbers. Um, uh, it's somewhere. Um, I'll link to all the relevant crap in the description. But yeah, like this is not a particularly uncommon thing. It's just a really shitty, nasty thing. Um, so I thought I would state some things. Um, number one, I'm never going to be paid or accept money from a game developer to review their game in a positive way or even in a neutral way. Um, I don't want to say that I'll never take money from a game developer, but it's not going to be like – like I would make like a trailer or something that's like obviously, okay – this is the game, you know, I'm not trying to make an objective review or anything, this is just showing off the game and it's clearly, you know, conscripted by, you know, whatever developer. I'm not, you know, opposed to working with the developer directly in ways like that, but in terms of reviews, no, I'm not going to take money from somebody to review their game um, or say positive things about their game. Um, I'm not going to do that from a platform holder or any crap like that. Um, I'm not part of a channel network. I actually tried briefly for like two months. I was with TGN um, just to see how that would work out. Um, basically, I got paid less even though I was able to monetize all of my videos, which I currently can't do. So, And my views actually fell off a cliff at that point. So definitely not helpful and I don't recommend them at all. And this was before the thing where, you know, managed status was an issue. I don't want to explain that whole thing. But... Yeah, definitely not going to be signing on with any partnership anytime soon unless there's a really good escape clause. The escape clause, number one thing if you're looking at a partnership, by the way. You need an escape clause very quickly. Don't don't believe their lies otherwise. Um, but yeah, it was just pretty shitty and it's not, probably not going to happen again unless someone like has something amazing with an amazing escape clause. That gives me managed status, and I don't foresee that happening any particular time soon. Um, I do put ads on videos. I can't control what ads roll. Um, like, if you see an ad for, like, flow from that shitty insurance company, um, I didn't put that there. YouTube just decides what's to ro what to roll out, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I really don't want to know what ads are running. Uh, like, I think I will be unbiased, but I know I'll be unbiased if I don't even know what actually even runs. So that is perfectly my ideal thing. Um, I I am willing to take um, review codes of games to you know take a preview. I have done that. Um, I've currently have videos for Assault Android Cactus, Castles in the Sky, and uh, Fancy Skulls, and I have a code for Lo or not Loan. Um, the Last Door, which I haven't used yet, but I do plan to take a look at. Um, and I might be getting one for... I should be getting one for Octodad Dadliest Catch. I'm okay with getting review codes, um, but anytime I do get a review code, pretty much the first thing I say when I start the video is that, hey, I'm playing this game and I was provided a review code by, you know, the developer. Um, I don't see a problem with that because that helps me get a game generally sooner than I would be able to otherwise, so that helps me cover it, and I want to show these games to people. And generally speaking, I don't play games on YouTube that I don't like, so I don't want to say every video I have is an endorsement, but I wouldn't be like trying to, re to review these games or anything if I didn't already like have some vague reason to like them. So I don't personally see a problem with that, with, you know... Um, getting a review code it's when you get like paid money or you get fancy packages of you know oh here's 10 Xbox Ones and a copy of Titanfall 
like, no, I'm not going to do that. Nobody's going to offer me that since I have 5,000 subscribers anyway. But just for the future, I just want to put that out there. I, you know, I want to be pretty impartial, like, in terms of, you know, I don't want to be burdened by ad money and shit, de de um, you know, depicting what I say. Um, I'm not unbiased. You know, it's po impossible to be unbiased. I think I'm fairly low on the bias spectrum, maybe. Um, I'll admit, I don't have an Xbox One. I don't have an Xbox 360. It's not my favorite console. Um, I do have every Sony console. I do have every Nintendo console, except uh, the Virtual Boy, because who has a Virtual Boy? Um... I even have a couple of Sega consoles. I have a PC. I game a lot on my PC. I, you know, don't consider any one of them to be superior in all possible manners or anything. Um, you might hear me talk less about Xbox stuff just because I don't have one and don't have much reason to get one. Um, especially since I mostly do indie stuff, so I mean, platform bullshit isn't really a big deal for what I do. Especially since most of the stuff I cover is on PC and, like, um often web stuff so you you know you know as long as you have flash installed you can play it so it's not even pc it's pc mac and linux you know anything that runs flash so i try to keep that stuff out of the picture i just want to show cool games um and any time that i am getting money from a person that's not like youtube paying me for you know generic ads they put on um I will straight up say that, like, if I'm going to be making it, like, well, if I made a trailer, it be on someone else's channel, but, like, um, say I got hired by Destructoid to make reviews or something, just completely hypothetically, I'm not applying or anything. Um, I'm not opposed to being paid for YouTube stuff, but I'm opposed to being paid to say, oh, hey, this is a good thing, and I'm opposed to being paid and not disclosing that. That's why, you know... I really don't think there's anything wrong with giving out review copies. That's an important, you know, um, especially for games that I probably would have bought anyway. But um, you know, the review copies, I think, are fine. But I just feel like I should say that it's a review copy just because, you know, you really can't control your own brain. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to be completely unbiased even though they gave me this review copy for a $15 game. I mean... I'm not that endeared to them for 15 indirect dollars that aren't actually in my wallet. They're just not out of my wallet. But I can't be 100% sure that I'm not giving them a slightly more favorable light because of that. So that's why I think it's important to mention that. And the vast, vast, vast majority of my videos are unsolicited. And currently, the large majority of them are free games, at least... In terms of raw number of games, um, I think my cat's breaking something. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys see like we're eye to eye on the ethics thing. I don't. I think that's a pretty solid you know standard to have. Say when you get review stuff like, don't take money from shitty advertisers and you know lie about it if i get money any money from any sort of thing why is that running yeah. um yeah i will definitely mention in a video anytime i'm getting money for something that's i think that's th th um this is something that i thought was really weird um so joystick has an article about oh like you should read the joystick article on this thing. It is spun like fucking insane. Their article is like, uh, let me let me bring it up. It's like it's unbelievably bad. Um, joystick. Microsoft recognizes YouTube is influential but wants rules. Um, so yeah, their their thing is basically, oh hey, Microsoft is recognizing YouTube is relevant by giving these people money and telling them not to disclose it, and they. They kind of gloss over the fact that they're basically being paid chills and not mentioning negative things and not mentioning that they're being paid, which is the bad thing. And they say, oh, hey, um, for us, the news angle here is that Microsoft is recognizing YouTubers as key influencers. Uh, 
squoosh this over here. Uh, the audience will make determination of the level of transparency they expect from these folks, and YouTubers will have YouTubers will have to decide on their personal rules. Here's my problem. If the transparency level is zero, you don't know this is a problem. You can't decide what your level of transparency, you know, what level of transparency you, you expect if you don't know the shit is happening. That's why I decided to make this video. Like, personally, uh, you know, I have 5,000 subscribers. I don't think anyone really gives a shit. I don't think anyone suspects me to be, you know, in bed with Microsoft over, you know, my piddly ad money. But... One, I want to just say, for the future, these are my ethics, and if I have, like, any specific updates to my ethics policy, I will let you guys know. Um, I don't, I think I've covered all of my bases. Um, but just, I think it's shitty that, you know, there's this expectation that you're supposed to know this stuff, that they are explicitly saying, no, we're not going to tell you, you know, you can't tell your fans that you're saying things, because we're paying you to. That's really shitty, and you can't decide whether that's okay if you don't know what's happening. So that's why I thought it was important for you to know. And the NeoGAF, like, I don't want to be part of drama and shit, but in the NeoGAF thread, somebody went and found a bunch of channels that have opted into this Xbox One um, CPM bullshit. So it's all on the Machinima network. Um, not everyone on Machinima is going in with this, but, you know, certain people have opted in. Um... And so they have a list of people, if you want to see, who might have some untrustworthy comments about the Xbox One. Um, and you know the shitty thing? Um, since this got out, basically you can't trust anything good someone on YouTube says about the Xbox One. Because are they getting paid for that? You know, it just casts doubt that suddenly... Maybe they don't really like the Xbox One, they just want that extra three bucks per 1,000 views, which is more than it sounds like. Um, like, it seems pretty cheap, but I mean, honestly, pays per, you know, ad revs per view is pretty low. So that's not, you know, as shitty as it seems. Um, well, it is shitty, but shitty is the standard, so let's put it that way. Um, but yeah. They're sort of casting doubt on their own brand, which Microsoft's been really good at shooting themselves in the foot. This is this is me being biased. I'm sorry. I try not to get into this too much, but this particular situation is really shitty, and I can't pretend to be, you know, oh, I'm impartial in the console wars and, you know, ignore this. This is shitty. This shouldn't be happening. I'm not going to be a part of it. You shouldn't be a part of it. You should not support people that are a part of it. Um, that's all I got to say.